if you're looking for safe and reliable account grinds, make sure you hit up my boy Cliff2 underscore three on Twitter. Yo, what's good, y'all? RC the Great here with another video for you guys. As you can see, we are rocking my custom Mamba Academy jerseys right now for today because this video is going to be very special. I do a lot of different mixtapes and stuff like that, and today we're going to be featuring Kobe Bryant. Now, of course, I can't do Kobe Bryant justice as much as he's worth. So the way I did this video is I'm just going to be showcasing the spin jump shot in fadeaways because that's one of my favorite moments from Kobe's career. And it's one of my favorite shots to use in the game using his card. So paying some homage to Kobe Bean, but also showing you guys a different tip on how to score in the game. And we're going to have a gameplay mix at the end of the freestyle that I show you. So we're going to show you how to do the move using Kobe. And then we're going to get into a mix showing you how the moves used in different gameplay scenarios just to pay some homage to my boy Kobe Bean, the Mamba. Now, this pink diamond came out a couple weeks ago along with the 75th, ver 75th version and the unsigned version. So if you have him, he is still one of the best cards in the game. I am going to be waiting for the Galaxy Opal to come out, so I might be getting rid of this Kobe soon just so that I can use some free cards, build my MT back up, and then get my in-game Kobe later on. But still, Kobe is one of my favorite players of all time. You can't do him justice. There's so much that you can put into a mixtape for Kobe from defense to offense to just crazy shots to dunks to steals to blocks. I just wanted to make a video for you guys to pay homage to Kobe, but also just not put too much pressure on myself to have a legendary Kobe video because that is tough to do. So hopefully you guys understand. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 14,000 subscribers. And if you don't know how to use the spin jump shot, we're getting ready to get into freestyle right now and show you exactly how to do it and why it's effective in the game. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get right into freestyle. All right, so we are in freestyle with Kobe Bryant right now. We're just going to show you how to trigger the move that we're going to be using for this video. It's pretty much just a spin jump shot, and you can do it at any part of the court. But what you want to do is get yourself moving in one direction. Your opponent's going to be chasing or they're going to be, you know, on your hip, and you're going to tap square twice, and that's going to get you into the spin jump shot animation that's going to get you going the other way and have them chasing and you can green this shot pretty consistently if you get used to the timing now you can do it at any part of the court so you can go baseline with it you can go sideline with it you can be in the paint you can use this move all over the court and it really does a good job when you pair it with the triple threat and you've got your jab steps going and you're able to get your opponent going in one direction and turn back and be able to hit this shot so i use it a lot with kobe because it just matches the footwork and i kind of like to play more of a realistic style sometimes when i'm playing for fun so once you trigger this move there's a lot of options out of it you can shoot it you can fake it after he fakes it you can step through and do a, another shot obviously you don't want to double dribble the ball you're going to do that in freestyle but there's so many different ways you can trigger this move and what you can do off of it afterwards is just amazing in the game so Play around with it. You do have to have difficult shots as well for him to be able to hit a lot of these consistently. But make sure you are utilizing this move, especially if you have somebody like Kobe on your team, because he can green these a lot. In the video, we're also going to have some fadeaways, just basic fadeaway shots off the post, because I have back down Punisher on my Kobe. So being able to utilize that, back your opponent down and hit him with a nice fadeaway shot is going to get you moving like Kobe was in real life. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video again. I didn't know exactly what to do for Kobe because there's so much you can do with this card. And I just wanted to make a video that highlights Kobe, but also takes some pressure off me from having to have a legendary Kobe video because he's just one of the greatest icons ever. And I wanted to do him justice while keeping myself sane at the same time because I had so many ideas for Kobe, but I would have had literally like a 20 minute video. So hopefully you guys enjoy it and we will catch you in the next one, man. Peace.